Hi, my name is Jessica and thank you for joining me in the dollhouse. In today's video, I'm going to be unboxing Jade Hunter of Rainbow Junior High. I feel like this collection hasn't been really popular out of the other Rainbow High dolls that have been released and I would like to unbox her and figure out why that is. I'm going to show you her box before I open it up. There's Jade. The box says Rainbow High with the high scratched out and Junior High written over it. Jade is a cosmetology focus and that is shown there. And the back of the box, Rainbow High and the high is crossed out with Junior High wrote, written in. And there is Sunny, Jade, and Violet. Oops, Sunny, Jade, and Skylar. <laughs> Let's get her unboxed. Here is Jade fully removed from her box and I would like to keep the box here for reference because I don't have a uh, animation to go off of to know what she is supposed to look like. So, but I do have these pictures here. So I'm going to use that to give you my opinion on what I think and what I think of the quality. So here's Jade. She's wearing a, her makeup style. She's wearing a black mascara, black liner and a lime green eyeshadow with the brown smudges above that or a brown cut crease. She has that band-aid over her nose, which I seen was highly thought of during the season one um, release of Jade, but it wasn't included on all the dolls or it's, it was a mold that was available. But anyways, she has two pigtails here and her hair is laid down in the back her uh, rooting is kind of sparse back here. I expected it to be fuller. So that is one negative that I've noticed. She, even in the animation of the doll, she ha or in the artwork, she has a zigzag part. Uh, two little scrunchies. Uh, she's wearing a nude lip with a Los Angeles top and with her uh, rainbow jeans with her boxers underneath her sparkle boxers underneath those she's wearing two gym shoes that look similar to Nike's to me and uh, she is also wearing black socks black socks with the letters RH over them in green the toes of the socks and the heel are also green and Jade has full articulation but no arc ankle articulation and her feet are arched. So she's available, uh, she can wear heels like the other dolls or they can share accessories. The jeans have four pockets which are functional and uh, belt loops. And there's a vel Velcro attachment to the back, a Velcro securement to the back of Jade. And the same thing with the top it is attached with the Velcro. The dolls do not include stands. So uh, this is a stand that I purchased from Amazon. It is not the sturdiest, but it'll do because she's really tiny. The backpack is here. It has a green name badge here with the, or a green tag here that has the letters RH on it and that's over the back strap or the back handle and there are metallic little metal loops across the strap there there is a, a black shadow high rainbow here and the R, uh, the name plate or a metal plate here that has the letters RH and a main po a secondary pocket here that has no attachment and there's a velcro attachment here that opens up and allows you to get into the main compartment of the book bag on the back of the book bag there are two straps for jade's arms and the letters rh are in uh in threaded in what was the word there in black rh So the doll does not have an alternative outfit. She does not have a stand or hangers. 
but I can take apart her wardrobe so we can see all of her pieces together. I guess I'll leave her like that. I feel like it's a little unnecessary to take everything off and leave my girl in the nude. She's only a junior high student. It's just rude. Well, I guess it's rude for anybody. But let's comb her hair a little bit. The hair is not heavily gelled at all. There is some product in the ponytails, but I don't feel like I need to wash it. I do not wash the doll's hairs if I can avoid it. I know a lot of people like, hey, I'm washing her. That's cool. I'm not one of those people. She has her black pants here with the four pockets, her black and green jeans, her book bag. Here are her two socks. and her shoes and the back of the shoes say no rain no rainbows and I think that's kind of strange because that was their theme in their high school project hmm. or maybe that was something that they always said maybe that's a rainbow high thing but I don't know but she has uh, articulation her legs are kind of stiff like her art her she is fully articulated, but her joints are pretty stiff. So maybe those need to get worked in. Her arms are really free. And her head has full movement. But her legs are really stiff. I'm gonna get her back dressed and oh, her nail nails are painted green her fingernail polish is green here's junior high jade in comparison with her other selves here's classic jade uh, snow winter jade and cheer jade um little jade's my least favorite she does not have ear piercings she has minimal accessories there's no jewelry there her apparel is still very minimum. I feel like at the price point of $24.99 and with these dolls ranging, well, with, okay, with the standard Rainbow High doll, she ranged from $26 to $29.99. I feel like, well, with this jade, you get hangers, you get a stand, and you get an additional outfit. You still have full articulation and the, pop, the ability to place earrings. And at this point, they still didn't have many bracelets or anything in the collection. And Jade doesn't seem like much of a jewelry wearer. But they could have gave her more clothing. They could have gave them doll stands for that price point. For 2 to $4 more, I'm getting a whole additional outfit, hangers, and things like that. Uh, Tiny Jade, Junior High Jade is 9 inches. And the classic dolls are 11 inches so that's a cute height comparison the rooting on jade was not very um thorough and that's another thing and i do the style is okay but it's not a doll that you walk by in the aisles and just say "Ooh, i need to have this doll and i think that's what people are noticing with this collection that they aren't very appealing to the eye and their eyes are kind of wonky luckily for me I was able to pick out this doll in stores and uh, weed out uh, the better dolls from the worse you know and uh, I was able to pick out one that did not have as many flaws as others but with this line I would prefer to pick the dolls up in stores if you decided to purchase them so I'm gonna wrap up my review and give you uh, a summary of my pros and cons of what I think and how I feel about the quality of Junior High Jade. I uh, do like Jade's little scrunchies. I, I always think the scrunchies are cute. I think that her uh, band-aid is really charming and I think the backpack is the most exciting part of this doll. But I do wish that her rooting was better and I can show you what I mean in the back. I do wish that was fuller and maybe even longer. Uh, I think I, I do appreciate the short style, I guess. But that's just my personal opinion. 
Um, I think I wish the outfit had more layers for me to feel better about the price point. Maybe a layered shirt or a layered top or maybe even a layered top and a jacket to feel more fulfilled with this doll. If I had to pick this $24.99 doll over a $27.99 doll and a, or a piece that I was really missing for my collection, I would get this doll over this one easily. Uh, I do think that it would be wise for collectors to probably wait for this doll to go on sale if they really like wanted her. I do believe she's going to be available on sale. So that's my opinion and that's all it is. If you love this collection and you have this collection, I do not mean to offend. That's just my honest opinion of what I think and I, if I had a choice, I would have gotten Junior High Jade on sale. Thank you for watching the video today and thank you for joining me. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel. My name is Jessica and thank you for joining me in the dollhouse.